everyone. My name is Anita Shastri. In this video, we'll be learning about sensory play and the importance of the sensory play in our children's development. So first, let's learn what are the senses. We have five senses. Seeing, hearing, smelling, tasting, touch or feel. These sensory play supports our children's cognitive development language and communication development, fine gross motor skills, problem solving and thinking. So these are all the developments which happens through a very simple sensory play. In my class, I always have a sensory table and the children love this. Every morning when they come inside the class, they first run towards the sensory table and I make sure that I change every day so the children will be more interested. So let's see a very simple shaker. How to make a shaker and what is a shaker? It's a very simple one. So this is a Tic Tac jar. It's a plastic one. So please make sure that you have a plastic jar and not a glass jar because you don't want to break. You don't want your child to break the jar, right? So use any plastic jars. And I have put some Mentos in here and you can hear the sound, isn't it? So, and uh, I have another one. I have some rice in there. So, if you listen to it very closely, you can see the difference or you can hear the difference of the sound. The rice jar makes this noise a little bit less bearable and the jar with Mentos makes it a bit louder, right? So that's the difference. And even the children can notice the difference of that. So it will help to develop their hearing skills. And I have got few notes here so that I don't miss any of these things. And even if you have a bell at home, that's also a music instrument. So that can also be used for improving the hearing skills. So these are all the simple things you have at home. And instead of uh, the jar which I showed, you can use any plastic jar which you have at home. But please make sure that the lid is closed very tightly so the children cannot open it. You can add some beans in that. So maybe the bigger beans or the smaller beans or even lentils. That also works. But only thing is you have to make sure the jar is really tight because you don't want the children to swallow it, right? So it can be a bit dangerous. Or if you have some little pebbles, that can also work as a shaker. So there are many, many things which you can use it as a shaker. If you have a cello tape, or then you can even uh, secure it with the cello tape. So the children can not be able to open the lid. So that's one important thing. So safety is always very important, whatever you do. And the second one is you can make some colored rice. You can add some food coloring into the rice and then rub it together so it uh, spreads evenly and the color is almost the same. It cannot be the same. And then you can dry it at home and then later on use it. Or if you don't want to use any colored rice, you can always use the simple rice also. Along with that, you can add anything in the, like maybe little animals if they have, or some plastic alphabets or numbers or any shapes, or even some spoons, plates, cups, these things also. So they can play with the rice. So they, they are touching, they are feeling, and they are pouring things. So there, your fine motor skills are building naturally with that. And you can use some colored pasta if you want to. That also works very well. And even colored spaghetti also, that is also good. But you'll have to cook the spaghetti. It's a bit messy, but the children love to play with that. So they are using their touching and feeling sense. So that's a very good one, good for the development of the children. And then you can also freeze some ice cubes. So in the uh, ice tray, so you can put some water. And if you have some glitters or some little, say, sand or anything which you want, inside those and freeze it and later on the children can play with it that's also good for their fine motor skills and even if you have these ice cubes they can also paint on it 
that's a very good activity and the children love it so they can see how the paint can how they can paint on ice as well and if you can collect some rocks not now maybe later when everything is open so if you collect some rocks children can also paint on the rocks that's also a very good activity and the children are using the paint which is very soft and the rock which is hard so they have different feel over there so that's also a very good sensory activity and even if you want you can also do some salt painting with them if you have liquid glue just spread some liquid glue and give salt to the children so they can either use it with a spoon or it's better if they use their finger so they can feel it it's a bit rough so and they can spread the salt onto the glue and later on you can see the effect of the painting that's also a very good one and it's very easy you might have salt you definitely have salt at home and then you just need the glue maybe the liquid glue always works better and uh, even finger painting that's also very good for the children they can feel it and it's very soft so they like it so paint with their fingers so that's a good one as well and water and along with the water you can put some alphabet you if you have the plastic alphabets or the numbers or any shapes you have or any lids of the jars as well and you can you can use some plastic jars and spatulas which they can help for pouring and then cups and plates and spoons so these are all the things which can go along with the water as well and then you can use pom poms if you have some pom poms or you can make it with woolen so you can you make pom poms and take a bottle and let the child not the glass bottle always plastic bottle so the children can use these pom poms and you can they can put it inside the pom, inside the bottle so that also is a very good one and then the children can use it for shaking as well and if you can find some sticks and some leaves so you can put it in the jar and use it as a shaker so they can see uh, and then you know they can hear what make the noise and what doesn't make the noise so that's also a very good one and even cotton you can use the cotton and they are very soft to touch so that's good as well so when they are all playing with these sensory toys they are using all their five senses and some days if you are interested you can also make them you know tie their uh, uh, ice uh, with a scarf or with a handkerchief and then just let them smell any fruits you have so maybe you can take a banana and let them smell it and say like what do they smell so that's also a good activity for developing their smelling senses right and even uh, they can, you can close their eyes and uh, they can you can also play it as a game with using different uh, spices if they are interested in that so but first you will have to show them the spice and talk about it a little bit and then develop it slowly or you can put few things inside a bag and then maybe they can just yeah, feel it inside the bag and they have to guess what it is and then take it out and see whether their guess was right so that also help the children and there's one more thing even sand if you can find sand near your uh, house in the playground so even that one also it can be used as a shaker or even to play with it so that's very good and even for uh, yogurt tasting also if you add a little bit of uh, flavor into the yogurt maybe a vanilla flavor and the other one a strawberry flavor and they can taste it and they can see which one they like and which one they don't like and what it tastes like so these are all the few ideas and a very simple ideas which you can make at home and then you it can be very very useful for your children for their sensory development so this can be a game for them a play for them along with that they are also developing their skills so these things you don't have to go outside to bring it it is available at home it's very inexpensive so i hope you enjoy this video and it will be helpful for your children's development please let me know what do you think about these ideas did it help you if you like this video please like it and then subscribe to my channel 
for more ideas. Thank you so much for watching.